What's up guys, it's Michael from Raw Great Cards. Today we're doing a showdown between 2020 update and 2021 Topps Chrome update. Let's find some gems. What's up guys, since I haven't received my 2022 Topps hobby boxes, I'm gonna do a little battle royale here between the chrome updates between 2020 and 2021 um personally i think the 2021 will have some huge hits but you never know there could be a super refractor hidden somewhere before we start let's uh bless the cards here and oh god i love this card such a cool card let's get We'll start off with 2020. Crazy thing is that I've been holding this box for almost a year and it hasn't really gone up that much in value like how and I'm not sure why, you know, because the Boba Shed is a very desirable card. So was the Robert. But I guess since they had their cards already and the other in series, the regular card, no one's really banging on the door and there's really no like rookie in here that's like a 2018 that's got a set you know like a Juan Soto in here so I'm sure people are just happy with you know people aren't just knocking down the door for this Buck Holt, Eric Davis, Aaron Judge so I'm assuming there's just not that much demand for the for this set but maybe as time goes on and Bo and Roberts just start killing it, which I feel like they will. Um, then uh, there's the Kyle Lewis debut. I like that card a lot. There's Chris Paddock. I think people are going to go nuts over this uh, because, you know, you might be able to get a cheaper, you know, Bo or Roberts rookie card. It's probably half the price because... Those, those cards are going up in value. I mean, if you look at a Sapphire, it's kind of... Uh, Luis Proper Sapphire cards for like 2 Gs, and that's just the base. And so, you know, you start talking X-Fractors, and those are crazy. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Oh, speaking of the devil here, here's Luis Robert. We got a Aaron Judge. Mike Piazza. David Pierce and Luis Roberts. So that's a cool card right there. I'm not gonna sleep them up. I'll sleep them up afterwards. Make sure. Andrew McCutcheon with the Pirates and then Javi Baez. Who's now with the Tigers? I think right or is it a match? I can't remember. Oh, Juan Soto 2020. Ryan Howard and Cal Ripken Jr. That's a super cool card right there. I like that card. I used to collect Cal Ripken like crazy. Every single Cal Ripken you can imagine I have. I've given most of them away in my mystery packs, but still, you know. All right, that concludes that. Let's give it another soap, just good luck. All right, so, so far the best card out of 2020 update was the Luis Robert. What's crazy is I think the 2020 updates were like 20 bucks. Well, look if you get more packs than the 2021 updates. It's 
like $50. It's more like a mega box, if anything, without the mega boxes. And I'm not a big fan of the purple cards. I'd rather get like a, uh, like a, an X Factor, like a pack of X Factors, five X Factors, than these purples. So, I don't know, guys. Just my thought on the whole update. Oh, Sam Hoff. I don't know why he looks like Dave Winfield. And the Kalanick, that's a good one. So we got the robber and the Kalanick. I bet you one day we're going to be like, oh man, I wish I pulled it. Like just praying to pull just that one card. Kalanick and these Roberts are highly desirable cards. Like Magic Robert. That's a cool pose. Oh, Alec Bohm. I really like those black and gold uh, inserts. It's just so nostalgic. Used to collect those growing up. Seemed like I had the Frank Thomas. But with a chrome finish, it really makes it pop. Or nothing to scream about. I think I don't know. Twenty twenty is maybe in the lead with the Roberts and the Juan Soto twenty twenty insert. I mean, Alec Baum is kind of boom oh, has really fallen off. His collectability is almost nothing. I'm not sure if I see. He's got to really step it up. Wow. Nothing too crazy, guys. I saw someone pull the Jesus Sanchez 101. I wonder what the pack odds for 101 is. Probably. They probably overproduced. Reeves, Andrew Pennington. They probably produce so much of this stuff, it's probably almost impossible to get one of those. I, the, I think I saw the Kalanick one of them pulled, but crazy odds. Let's see, Alice Krilov debut, that's a cool one. Durham White. Tops is definitely running the presses to the ground, I'll tell you that. They are churning. I was able to pick this update up at um, uh, Barnes and & Nobles, and I promised myself I wouldn't pick up any more update, and I couldn't help myself. And Christian Yage. Man, both of these were really rough to watch. I think I'm just gonna have to, I'm gonna go with 2020. I think Beast Robert has a higher collectability than Kalanick right now. So leave your, leave your opinions uh, on the bottom on the comment section. Let me know which one you thought was the winner. Thanks for watching.